Welcome back to Infinite Roleplay Dungeon of Day. My name is Nelson, your dungeon designer, crafter, master, whatever. Uh, and we're back in Photoshop to the dungeon we were working on throughout the series up until this point. Now, I renamed a few things, uh, but that's just me. That's just me keeping house. Uh, but if you look, I have a little darkening areas for here because the slope goes downward towards the mining facility. It doesn't necessarily need to be a mining facility, but that's the general idea I'm keeping in my head. Uh, we have a little slope over here. It starts off as a gentle slope, and as you go down, it becomes a very sharp, steep slope. At the end of the slope are two major elevation changes. This, and of it, this in and of itself can be a good trap. Uh, but use it however you see fit. I want my Dungeon of Day maps to be generic maps that you could use in any adventures, any system, any way you like. Uh, just illustrated some of the stuff over here. Now, we'll, all we have left uh, to do uh, is either package this up or add some uh, numbers. Now, I like to offer two variations most times on my maps when I put them on uh, drive through RPG so this one I will have a number and unnumbered version so let's make a group for numbers and then just grab our text tool that's all we need to make numbers it's really really this easy that's number one it's white but I could just double click add a stroke and make it a 10 pixel stroke. That's it. Let's uh, let's also give it a little bit of an outer glow so it can blur away some of the grid. Instead of screen, make it a normal glow. Increase the size, the spread, maybe decrease the range a bit. And uh, <laughs> we're not keeping it yellow, let's make it white just so it could wash out some of the, the grid layer behind it to be a little bit more easily apparent I'm going to go to view uh, and uncheck my snap so I can place this where I want so that's that's room number one now the way that I do it is I shrink this and I put it in a different folder because I like to hold the alt key with the move option selected and just drag out I drag the copy I just select my text tool and change the number one to the number two and uh, rinse and repeat. So that's it's a little bit much for the room. Press and control T to trans free transform it. So I can get it to get a nice tidy little uh, little thing. Fit neatly in these small uh, small rooms. That'll be 4B. Four, not B, 4C. Like the season in 4C, 4D. Like the fourth dimension, then 4E for easy E. I'm straight out of the internet. I <laughs> uh, can't believe they waited so long to make that movie. It's uh, it doesn't really deserve a comment. I'm gonna shut up. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through uh, number these things. It's really that easy to number them thing, bump things, uh, and then you create a, a legend afterwards maybe a separate file with uh, the numbers and when you want to take them off since you have it uh, have a folder you can have one without the numbers one with the numbers so we're done basically and until I see you ladies and gentlemen 
next time on Dungeon of the Day on Infinite Roleplay. Uh, I hope you have fun crafting. I hope you enjoyed the series up until this point. My name is Nelson. Peace.